I have a Google Sheet here showing a column of dates and a column with a number of calls on that date. I want to show you how you can make pivot tables that group this data by different time frames. To start off, we'll select our data, columns A and B, we'll go to Data, Pivot Table, we'll select a new sheet for this. In our new sheet, we're going to start off by adding the date to the row. So down column A, we'll see every single date. Under Values now, we want to add number of calls and make sure it's a sum. And so now we have the sum of the calls on each day. This is pretty much what we had in our first sheet. But we can go further by creating a date group by right clicking on one of the date values and choosing Create Pivot Date Group. We can group these dates by month, for example, and see the sum of each item by month. We can choose Quarter. And if you look through here, one of the things you'll notice is missing is week. Day of the week just shows grouped by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc., etc. But if you want to see first week of the year, second week, third week of the year, there isn't a built-in pivot group date for this. So let's create it. Back on sheet one, we are going to add a column to the left of column A, and we're going to call this week. We'll write a formula to come up with our week number, and this is going to be the week num formula. So week num, we'll select B2 for that, and we will get the week number. It's turned into a date, so we're going to select the column, format, number, and automatic, because it's choosing the wrong format for that, and we get week one. We could copy this value down the entire sheet, or we can write an array formula so that any additional values will automatically get the week also. The way we'll do that is instead of looking at just B2, we're going to do B2 colon B, so it's the whole column. Then we're going to turn it into an array formula by using the shortcut Control shift enter or command shift enter on a Mac, and that will add array formula to the beginning of the formula. And when we hit enter, all the values populate. The benefit of using this array formula is that if I add a date to the bottom of my sheet here, the array formula will populate the values down the entire column. Now that we have the week populated, if we go back into our pivot table, and we're going to update the range of our pivot table data from B and C to columns A through C. And then we will go ahead and we've got our week populated now under rows. We will add the values of the number of calls and we automatically get the total by the week number now. So it's one of the ways you can pack pivot tables to get the data you want.